Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this 3D text directly in PowerPoint and animate it with any rotation and color. So let's jump into it. As usual, the first thing we'll do is go for a blank presentation and choose layout blank. I'm going to paste in the gradient background I had just to save time. And now we can get started creating the 3D text. So we'll get a text box, type 3D text because we're original, choose pop-ins as the font, make it bold, and I'll go for 125 font size. Now we can align it to the middle, and I'm going to make the text color from this blue on the outside of the gradient. Now let's make the text 3D. So we right click and go to format shape. From here, we have shape options and text options as the main sections. When you're working with 3D text, you'll be wanting to apply some of the 3D effects, such as the rotation to the shape options and some of the 3D effects to the text options. So firstly, let's add a rotation so we can see the 3D effect. And all of the 3D rotation is in shape options, effects, 3D rotation. And for our example, I'm going to want to add perspective and that's grayed out at the moment. So the only way to choose this is to go to a preset and select one of the perspectives to start with. So I can just select any one such as front and now you can see you can enter the perspective amount. And in my example, I actually want it to be 70 degrees. And now I can add the X rotation I need, which is 315 and the Y, which is 359. And now let's add the depth. If you go to 3D format, you'll see there's depth in here. However, because we're in the shape options, that would only apply the depth to the shape itself, which is this rectangle. And because it's transparent, if I entered anything in here, you wouldn't see it. So if we want to make the text 3D itself, we have to make sure to go to the text options and then choose text effects. And we need to add our depth here. And I'm going to select 25 point. And I'm going to choose the color for this, go to the eyedropper tool and choose the yellow that's in the middle of our gradient in the background. Nice. I'm now going to go to material and choose this option here, soft edge. And finally in the 3D format, I'm going to add a very small top bevel on the height of two point. And you'll see it's automatically put in the width, but I want that to be zero. This just creates a nice front edge that looks even more 3D. And then I'm going to go to the lighting section. Again, we're on text options. And I'm going to choose this one here, two point, which provides less of a shine and more of a subtle effect that I think looks really good. I'm also going to add a reflection. I can pick a preset for this. And now I'm going to increase the blur to 12 point. Looking good. Now let's add some animation. So if we go to the slides on the left, press Control D to duplicate and make sure that the second slide has the transition set to morph. I'm also going to take the duration down to one second. Then we go back to the first slide. I'll zoom out a little bit. I'll pick up my 3D text and move it down. So at the moment, the text will slide up from the bottom, but we can also rotate it to make it a more interesting effect. So if we go to format shape, choose the shape effects option, go down to rotation. I'm effectively going to turn these around to make this 350, 318 will do. And now when we play this, you'll see that it slides in and rotates at the same time, which is a pretty cool effect. Now I'm going to show you how you can animate to different rotations of the 3D text and change the colors to get any effect you're looking for. So we'll click Control D again to duplicate the slide. This time I'm going to choose a grayish gradient. Something like this will do. I'm 
I'm going to change the text color to a gray. And then I'm going to go to text options, text effects, and I can change my depth to a very dark color. Something like that looks pretty good. And now I'm just going to choose some different rotation. So for this one, I'm going to type in 56 and for the Z rotation, 359 and change the perspective to 80. I'll just move this roughly in the middle. And then when we play from the second slide, you'll see that it will rotate and change the color at the same time. Nice. We'll do one final example and change the effect on this text slightly. Go into text options, text effects, and then for example, under material, we could change it from the one we're currently on, which is plastic, down to one of these translucent, such as translucent powder, the first one. And then we'll control D on the slides to create a second slide that it will transition to. And we'll change the rotation on this slide. We'll go into 3D effects and then choose 3D rotation. For this one, I'm going to select 290 X rotation, 0 Y rotation, and 10 Z. And again, we'll move it roughly into the middle. So now when we play from this slide, you can see how it nicely transitions using the morph option. And for example, if you wanted to make this one lighter, we can just increase the brightness a bit of this. And I'll go into the text color and make it a slightly lighter color. And then you can see how it automatically will transition between them with a very smooth effect using Morph. And you can try any 3D effect you want. I would recommend using different rotations and different colors, because if you try and morph between things like depth or bevels, it won't work correctly and PowerPoint will just fade between them and not give this smooth effect. So try out things like rotation and changing colors, and you can use any text and any colors you like. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.